What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here and today I'm going to be covering a series I have not talked about in 7 years, nearly 10, and today we're going to be discussing Klonoa. Just yesterday at Nintendo's Direct, it was confirmed that Klonoa will be making a return with the remakes of Klonoa 1, Door to Phantom Mile, and Klonoa 2, Lunatus Veil. Vale. They will be on the Nintendo Switch first and they will be coming to other platforms later. Now, I'm really happy that it won't be exclusive to the Nintendo Switch solely due to the fact that the Wii remake that happened back in 2008 for the first game on PS1, the Wii remake that happened, that was exclusive to the Wii and that is likely what killed Klonoa and made him fade into obscurity because of the fact that that wasn't on multiple platforms and it was just stuck on a Nintendo platform that people don't really play nowadays or they might, you know, emulate the game or whatever, but point is, I'm just happy that the Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Collection, Duo Collection, is gonna be more accessible to everyone that wanted to give Klonoa a shot and don't want to waste $500 to $1,000 on Klonoa 1 on the PS1 on eBay from Scalpers. So, yeah, I'm really happy about that. To say that I was excited would be an understatement regarding this announcement. There's a bit of a reaction that was recorded from our friend Casey Modulo when we were watching the Direct that I will have linked in the description for you guys to see. I want to say about 40% of it was recorded, but the initial reaction, I wish I had OBS opened so you guys could hear it because the initial reaction was completely ballistic. I like, I was banging on things. I was running through the house screaming. I was going crazy. I was so excited. But yeah, Klonoa 2 is my favorite of the games. I did play the Game Boy Advance games on the Wii U Virtual Console back then, but I never really completed those games. But the games were still of quality, just like the PS1 Klonoa 1 and the PS2 Lunatus Veil. Vale. But I'm just really happy to play Klonoa 1 and 2 again, especially 2 because 2 is my favorite once again. And the problem that I had with, with 2 in terms of streaming it was the fact that whenever I entered different parts of the level, uh, the game had this resolution issue to where when the screen fades black, my whole screen cuts off and then it cuts back on. So it would be hard for me to, you know, progress throughout the levels naturally because the flow would be interrupted from my TV or the Elgato or the resolution of the game or whatever the case was. So now I'm happy that I won't have that issue anymore when I'm trying to play those games because I do stream Klonoa like, like not often at all. It will be like rare, but it's one of those games that I really do hold near and dear and I really do like in terms of gameplay and its story. And out of every platform or series I've ever played, I honestly feel like Klonoa is the most balanced when it comes to gameplay and story. The story is very enriching and I really like that the characters have their own language, which is really cool. I do wonder if they will give you the option to listen to the characters in English or if they will just keep the Phantom Mile language, which I'm completely fine if they keep the Phantom Mile language. The reason why I'm wondering this is because in the Wii remake, you had the option to listen to the characters speak in their Phantom Mile language or in English. Now, if we only hear the characters speak in their Phantom Mile language and people don't want to read, that's on them, honestly, unless they are literate. Because I really think that the story is really good for Klonoa and I think that it's worth your time investing into playing the games. Now just to drive home the fact that I really like Klonoa as a character and the series as a whole, I actually did a rap called The Dream Traveler Out of This World, Klonoa 2. And it's basically me rapping from Klonoa's perspective while kind of sort of summarizing the story for Klonoa 2 without going into too much detail. Granted, the song is pretty short, but I had fun doing it and I thought it'd be worth mentioning given the context of this video. But most importantly guys, if you want Klonoa 3, which was the last video I did talking about this series, please buy this collection. Buy it more than once, just support it. Please give Namco your bread so we can get a Klonoa 3 because fans have been waiting, they have been hungry. So this is like the ultimate test of uh, water tests to see if people are interested, which I think a lot of people will be interested, especially since this collection isn't exclusive to Nintendo and it will be on multiple platforms later. Um, this buildup was inevitable because of the Wind of the Encore trademark that happened. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was a thing at one point. Uh, yeah, here it is right here, the Klonoa of the Wind Encore trademark from October uh, 2021, less than a year ago. And then eventually we got the you know, Fantasy Reverie series trademark thing and then well lo and behold we got the the trailer announcement at the Nintendo Direct this is the PlayStation trailer because honestly I feel like this trailer was better than what the heck they slapped together for the Direct but yeah um, super super dope news I'm really happy about it all all I really need in life now at this point is just Bloody Roar and Gex to return and I'll be set in terms of video games coming back you know I obviously support other series that I enjoy and for them to come back but Klonoa was definitely one that was like in my heart for real that I really wanted to return so 
yeah guys um super happy about this thank you all for watching this video i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one whenever if ever be easy take care be nice stay clean all that good stuff and yeah peace